Hi, I'm Li Yu from Query Service Team. Today, I'm going to demo a hackathon project, Analyze Logs v Fine Tune GPT. So first question, what problem are we solving? As we know, identifying performance bottlenecks or doing exception analysis from the logs are time-consuming work. Luckily, we can build a log analysis tool, the Fine Tune GPT model, to help with that. You may want to ask, why do we fine tune GPT? Why don't we just use the base GPT model to do this work? We have two reasons. First and most important, we want this model to be adapted to the performance analysis and exception analysis tasks. Secondly, we want this model to have knowledge about Tableau from the training set. So we have an example here. Then we are asking the same CPU analysis question on the same log file. Uh, to both base GPT and the fine tune GPT. On the left side, you can see that the base GPT uh, basically it gives me some information from the logs. However, on the right side, after GPT is fine tuned, it can give me a, the, a, well, a, a well organized report. And even better, it can uh, give us some insights about uh, the root cause analysis and recommendations as well. Then, next question. How do we build this tool? So first, we need to uh, clean up and sanitize the data. And after that, uh, we will fine tune the base GPT model with the sanitized training data. Then after the training is finished, we will get off the fine tuned GPT model. Then we can plug it in in our system. Then user can start to ask question or get a response from the fine tuned GPT. Now let's take a look at the demo and see how it actually works. Let me show my remote desktop. OK, now you can see that I have my server up and running right now. So before we dive into the details, let's take a look at the logs we have right now. So you can see that these are the some uh, the typical semi-structured Tableau C++ logs. It will definitely take me some time uh, to figure out what's going on inside this log. So let's see how we can use the uh, chat, uh, sorry, the fine tuned GPT model to do this work. So let's uh, upload uh, this file to our system. And then let's first do some uh, exception analysis and see how it goes. OK, now I have the report from the GPT model. First, it gave me some uh, details of the exception. That's great. Then it gave me the information about the types. And then it gave me some further analysis, like the root cause analysis impact analysis and recommendations as well. That's great. I need this information. Um, how about we try something else? Let's try to ask the GPT model to do some CPU analysis and see how it goes. OK, now you can see we are asking this question, and we are waiting for the response right now. OK, now here is the report. So uh, in the report, um, the GPT model give me the information about which invent has the highest CPU consumption. That's great. Then it give me some further analysis, like the root cause analysis and recommendations of how to improve the performance. I think this is great. And uh, I think the analysis is quite useful and handy. And um, yeah, I will definitely use this tool in my uh, in my real work. And um, yeah, so this is basically the demo. I hope you can try it out on your side. And ho I hope you can enjoy this tool. If you have any question or feedback, please do let me know. Yeah, thank you for listening.